Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Village Board uh, Liquor Commission meeting for October 17th, 2022. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brady, roll call, please. Commissioner Vogel? Here. Commissioner Papantos? Present. Commissioner Vito? Here. Commissioner Kruger? Present. Chairperson Horker? And Here. Commissioner Lang and Rafata are absent with prior notice. You have before you the minutes of the special meeting for October 3rd, 2022. I need a motion for their approval. So moved. Trustee Commissioner Papantos, second. Anybody? Vito. Commissioner Vito. Roll call. Commissioner Papantos. Yes. Commissioner Vito. Yes. Commissioner Pruger. Abstain. <clears throat> okay. Commissioner Vogel. Yes. Chairperson Horker. Yes. Citizens' concerns and comments. None tonight. New business. Um, 6A consideration. Of a request from Dry, Sh I don't know how to say this. Dry Shit, I don't. Drishti Enter Enterprises. Thank you. Um, I had it before. Doing business as Dundee Food and Liquor at 11 West Dundee Road to convert an existing Class D dash two liquor license to a Class D liquor license. Thank you, Mr. Smondilis. Uh Thank you. As the title indicates, this is a request. <clears throat> to convert a Class D2 license to a Class D primary package liquor license uh, for Dundee Food and Liquors at 11 West Dundee Road. Uh, the petitioner is here and can answer any questions, as can I, and I would ask that should the commission wish to move forward, uh, the motion to approve be made conditionally upon the following three items. First, passage of an ordinance by the Board of Trustees granting special use approval for a packaged liquor store at the subject location. Second, passage of an ordinance by the Board of Trustees authorizing the creation of a new Class D liquor license, and finally, payment of all associated fees. Mr. Papantos, you had some questions? Uh, just one question for the commissioner or, or more of a, yes. a point of fact. You do realize that this license does not permit you to deliver alcohol. No, no, we it's are only not, sale. Yes, I, Mr. Clicker addressed it. And we are not delivering anything. It's just we, uh, the person normally she's very like elderly, like senior citizen. So I see her walking the street and I just, once she finishes shopping, I put her in my car and drop her back to her apartment. I just don't want her to walk back. Oh, back. I just wanted to make no, sure. No, 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 we are not in delivering business. From the, the minutes from the plan commission, I, I wanted to yeah, just yeah. No, verify 100%, that. 100% we are not in delivering business. <coughs> and does the license hours coincide with what a D license for sales goes? It is. Okay, that's all I had. Thank you. Thank you. If there are no other... Questions or comments? I would be looking for a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Commissioner Vogel, second. Commissioner Papantos, roll call please. Commissioner Vito? Yes. Commissioner Kruger? Yes. Commissioner Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Papantos? Yes. Chairperson Horker? Yes. Congratulations. Sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you. That concludes the business for the Liquor Commission hearing portion of the evening. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Commissioner Kruger, second. Second. Commissioner Papantos, all in favor? Aye. 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 Liquor Commission adjourned. I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Village Board for Hold. October 17th, 2022. Hold on one minute. Okay. Are we there yet? I'm starting it. Okay. <laughs> You have before you the minutes of the regular meeting of September 19th, 2022. Are we doing roll call? I got a roll call. We have to do that. We have to do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Trustee Vogel? Here. Trustee Papantos? Present. Trustee Vito? Here. Trustee Kruger? Present. President Horker? Here. Trustee Ling and Rafato are absent with prior notice. Thank you.
now? Yes, you can. You have before you the minutes of the regular meeting of September 19th, 2022. I need a motion for their approval. So, so moved. Second. Motion, Trustee uh, Vogel. Second, Trustee Papantos. Roll call. Vogel. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vogel. Yes. And President Horker. Yes, you also have before you the minutes of the, spe the, the joint workshop meeting for September 21st, 2022. Motion for their approval. So moved. Second. Trustee Papantos. Second. Trustee Kruger. Roll call. Um, Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. President Horker. Yes. You have the minutes for the October 3rd, 2022 meeting. Motion for approval. So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vogel, roll call. Trustee Kruger. Abstain. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. President Horker. Yes. Mr. Spondilis, we got any changes to the agenda? There are no changes this evening. <clears throat> Citizens, concerns, and comments? No, not today. Staff reports. Chief Dunn. You're over there. You moved. <laughs> Thank you, President Horker and trustees. Tonight I would like to introduce Officer Robert Chopek and his new canine partner, Kane. Kane's an 18-month, uh, 18 year-and-a-half-old German Shepherd. Uh, officer Chopek has been working as patrol officer since joining us in 2019. In a relatively short time, Officer Chopek has distinguished himself, becoming a well-regarded member of our department. His performance as an officer and his overall maturity level, uh, while contributing to many factors that many officers applied for this position, and he was chosen. And he'll be replacing our retired uh, K-9 team that you're all familiar with. Since his selection, Officer Chopek has been working with the trainers at Topps Kennels in Grays Lake to become a partner and handler of Kane. Um, Tops uh, professionals hand selected uh, Kane uh, to, for police service uh, to work. Since the inception of our canine program in 1987, these working dogs have become an integral part of our overall mission. Whether catching bad guys or educating the public, our canine unit has become one of Wheeling's most popular entities. In fact, this function is so well regarded that we have sought and received grant funding for $36,000 for the purchase of expanding the scope of the program to include a second canine team, and uh, that will be next April. Um, canines, long history here in Wheeling, long history in law enforcement, and I would just like to welcome them to the community. And before the dog had bite training, I wanted to introduce them to everybody. But they want to put a hands on the dog, because after that begins, he is unapproachable. So <laughs> again, welcome, and thank you for the opportunity uh, for us to continue our canine program. Thanks, Robert. And while I have your attention and the microphone, <laughs> <laughs> the Bear Family McDonald's, which is on Dundee Road, down the, down the street here, they're proud to support the Wheeling Police Department, American Cancer Society, a Rest Cancer Night. And the fundraiser is October 25th from 5.30 to 7.30. All proceeds go directly to the American Cancer Society. 100% of pie sales, if you purchase them from an officer who will be there, will go towards the uh, American Cancer Society and 10% of all sales that night. So please try and drop by and support the program that night. And thank you again. Thank you, officers. Um, Chief McGreal, you have something for us. Did you bring a puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Dalmatian? Hey, Chief. The Wheeling Fire Department would like residents to know October 9th through the 15th was Fire Prevention Week. Fire Prevention Week was started 100 years ago in 1922 by the National Fire Protection Association. By remembering the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, the NFPA was developed to teach children and adults how to stay safe in the event of a fire. This year, the theme is Fire Won't Wait, Plan Your Escape. To help educate everyone about how important it is to have a plan in place just in case a fire does happen in your home or business. In the event of a fire in your home or business, you may have a few minutes or less to safely escape a fire from the time the smoke alarm or fire alarm sounds. 
The theme of this year is to not wait and develop a plan today. A plan for your escape is going to be all it takes to make it a lot safer for you, your family, or your coworkers in the event of a fire. If you'd like any more information or a link to the NFPA and how to develop a plan, you could go to the village's website and go under the fire department. You'll see a link. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Rick Brady, uh, consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the village board and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the board members or citizens so request, in which event the items will be removed from the general order of business and considered after all other agenda items. 11A, resolution authorized authorizing temporary lane closures for Illinois Route 21 Milwaukee Avenue and Illinois Route 68 Dundee Road on Sunday, November 20th, 2022. 11B, resolution authorizing the acceptance of a grant funding agreement with the National White Collar Crime Center on behalf of the Bureau of Justice Administration in the amount of 30,000 $148.41 to add a canine at the police department. 11C, resolution waiving competitive bidding and authorizing the village manager to execute an agreement with Pyrotechno Fireworks Inc., formerly Melrose Pyrotechno, for public works displays on June 24, 2023 and 2024. Dated to de dates to be determined and the price not to exceed seven thousand two hundred seventy two thousand four hundred fifty. Thank, Thank you, I read it backwards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh thirty six thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars per event. Eleven D. Resolution waiving competitive bidding and authorizing the village manager to prove a contract with Lagos Corp for demolition services for 1750 through 1794 Hints Road, Garden Fresh Plaza in the amount of $38,700. 11E, resolution granting final acceptance of public and private improvements within the landings on Dundee, formerly Whitley, of Wheeling, Phase Two subdivision, and release of Project Shirtery. 11F, resolution approving a one-year contract with Milieu Landscape, including $265,238.51 for landscaping services and an additional 15300 $1.49 for miscell miscellaneous grounds related services for the total amount of $280,600 in fiscal year 2023. That's it. Thank you, Clerk Brady. I need a motion, unless there are questions about the consent agenda, I need a motion for approval. So moved. Trustee Papantos, a second, please. Second. Trustee Kruger, roll call. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. A, please. No, yeah. Oh, well, do you have to say something about public hearing open? Yes, and I would like you to read. Uh, Public hearing request for Cook County Class B property tax abatement for the property at 1480 South Wolf Road. This is a public hearing. Uh, call to order first. I can. I, no, wait. I read it no. now. You can go. I can go. I got it. Okay. We're good. This is a public hearing. There's, there's actually protocols and stuff that have to go, otherwise somebody gets in trouble, probably him. <laughs> this is a public hearing for the public to make comments regarding the request for a Class 6B real estate tax assessment for 1480 South Wolf Road. A public hearing notice was published in the Daily Herald. 
Each member of the public shall have five minutes to make their comments. During this time, staff and the board will not answer questions. Comments should not be repetitive or argumentative. Are there any comments from the public? If there are none, I would like to now close. I need a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Trustee Second. Vogel. Second. Second. Trustee Papantos. Roll call, please. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes. 13B. Resolution consenting to a Cook County Class 6B real estate tax assessment classification for the property located at 1480 South Wolf Road in the village of Wheeling, Illinois. Mr. Clicker. Yes, uh, we received a class uh, 6B real estate property tax classification application from Spencer Investments, LLC, uh, which is going to be purchasing the building and bringing in their tenant, which is uh, Permaseal, uh, into 1480 South Wolf. Um, the, with the public hearing being just held uh, previously on this, we're prepared to move forward with the resolution, which would, uh, again, they'll be reoccupying 1480 South Wolf, which is an approximately 53,000 square foot one-story industrial building that sits on 4.4 acres with 175 parking spaces. Um, they, it was previously occupied by the Dual Company, and they vacated in April of 2022. However, the company had been winding down operations since March of 2020. Spencer, Inve or Spencer Investments is planning to invest over $600,000 into the building, bring in 40 employees, and there is a minor sales tax implication for them coming in to the facility as well. With that, staff does recommend approval of this. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Is the petitioner somebody here? Mr. Liston. <laughs> you need to, the to be at the and introduce yourself. Good evening, Brian Liston here on behalf of Spencer Investments and uh, Roy Spencer, who you probably hear on the news with Permaseal. They are currently have uh, two facilities within Cook County. This is going to be their expansion, the largest of all their facilities. This will be then their headquarters. They currently have uh, uh, 250 jobs. Uh, Mr. Spencer could not be here tonight based on uh, the work he's doing in South Florida uh, with some of the uh, cleanup and help that he's provided. He is a, a man of integrity and uh, he wants to be in Wheeling and uh, we want to be good neighbors and 10% uh, of all of our profits, net profits, go to charitable organizations. Thank you. Um so this is a third site. It's not, you're not replacing the, what, any of the other two sites, or he's not replacing? No, it's an expansion because we've grown so significantly within the Chicago area. We've, we've helped out over 400,000 houses just within the Chicagoland area, which an, and it's another expansion. Great. And there's a mention that there will be some retail products sold. What type of products are sold? Um, mostly... Uh, May, uh, hardware products, maintenance of uh, uh, cleaning, house cleaning products, uh, buckets, uh, tools, some tools for help cleaning up, uh, plungers, th those type of various and sundry products, which we've had a lot of success with. You know, people come in and, and want to uh, get their house clean. That's an emergency. We can sell them for a little bit cheaper than some of the other products. We get them on such a mass, pro uh, mass scale. Thank you. And as far as trucks to be parked there, how many trucks would be parked at that site? Is it like an overnight parking of trucks or? Well, it's all of our own, all of our own trucks. It's not like a, 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 a truck parking. I mean, it's, it's our utility vehicles that go ahead to sites and do work on sites. So they're not semi-trucks? No, they're not semi-trucks. So it's more like a box truck or? Yeah, like a FedEx box truck kind of a, of, of, of uh, facility. That's not to say that there isn't a semi that comes in and unloads a product for us. But right, that's, that's it's not a trucking terminal. No. Right. Um, and for Mr. Clicker or Director Clicker, I'm sorry. Any issue with the I1 I3? No. The split zoning? None whatsoever. Their offices <clears throat> will be in the front. The 
operations are in the back. Thank you. Just for the note, Ross and I have looked, worked together for 25 years, and you got the very best, I'm telling you. you we guys, know that. You're lucky. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If there are any other questions, there are none. I would need a motion to approve. So moved. Trustee Vogel, second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call, please. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vogel. Yes. President Horker. Yes. Uh, 13C, ordinance granting special use approval to permit the operations of a ground transportation service 275 12th Street, Always Medical Carriers, Inc., docket number 2022-32. Mr. Clicker. Yes, as uh, Clerk Brady said, Always Medical Carriers is, seeks a special use for their operations of a ground transportation service at 12, uh, 275 12th Street in the I-1 Industrial Zoning District. At the September 28th Plan Commission hearing, the Commission unanimously recommended approval of this request with three conditions. The conditions are that, one, the maximum number of fleet vehicles be permitted uh, yeah, the maximum number of fleet vehicles permitted to be parked and or stored at the subject site at any given time shall not exceed 24 vehicles and shall only be parked within the southeast parking lot. Two fleet vehicles shall consist of passenger light motor vehicle, minivans, and sedans. And three, any increase in the number of fleet vehicles or types of vehicles shall require an amendment to the special use, which such changes shall be submitted to the plan commission, who shall make findings of fact and recommendations, which shall be transmitted to the village board. As I said, this was with those conditions was recommended unanimously for approval. Questions? There are none. Uh, is this the same um, development we had the issue with the car transport parking? Yes. Thought it was. That's all resolved. Yes. Awesome. Uh, motion for approval. So moved. Trustee Papantos. Second. Second. Trustee Vogel. Roll call, please. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. Bye. 13D, ordinance repealing ordinance number 4445 and ordinance 4623, which amended ordinance number 4445 and granted a new special use approval to permit the operations of a packaged liquor store at 11 West. Dundee Road, Dundee Food and Liquors, docket number 2022-33. Mr. Clicker. Yes, uh, the Dundee Food and Liquors seeks a special use for the operation of a pack package liquor store at 11 West Dundee Road in the B3 commercial, General Commercial and Office Zoning District. At the September 28th Plan Commission hearing, the Commission unanimously recommended approval with the one condition that this special use is contingent upon the petitioner receiving a Class D liquor license from the Village Liquor Commission and, and Control Commission. Questions, Trustee Papantos. Just one quick question. I'm sorry. Do you do you plan on keeping the same name, food and liquor, since you're going more towards? Yes, the, so I will you're not keep gonna... most of it. It's it's still going to be mostly convenience store, but we want to expand some assortment in the beer. I just wanted to, yeah, <laughs> if you were going to switch it up or no, anything. no, no, no. We are not making any major changes. Thank you. Thank you. It, it can't be mostly convenience store. Well, mostly liquor. Yeah. The, the proportions, the percentages have just switched. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, motion for approval? So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vito, roll call, please. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes. 13E, ordinance granting special use approval to permit the operations of a massage establishment, 77 South Milwaukee Avenue, home massage, docket number 2022-34. Mr. Clicker. Yes, uh, the petitioner owned massage does seek a special use for the operation of a massage establishment at 77 South Milwaukee. Uh, the, the, you may recall that this was the previous location uh, of Shang Wei Massage. They have ceased operations, and the petitioner seeks to open a new 
facility in the same location. This was recommended for approval at the September 28th Plan Commission with the condition that the petitioner shall submit an application for business license to the Community Development Department upon demonstrating the petitioner and the business operations comply with all the requirements of Chapter 4.74 of the Wheeling Municipal Code. A business license shall be obtained prior to the operation of the massage establishment at the subject location. So more clearly, they have to get all the state stuff sorted out and then Bingo. they can... Background operate. checks and everything taken before they can begin operations. Questions from the board? My left, my right. Justy Kruger, you're all alone over there. I am <laughs> lonely. Uh, if there are no questions or comments, um, motion for approval. So moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. Trustee Vito, roll call, please. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. All right. 13F, ordinance granting a variation to permit a wall sign on the non-permitted building facade, 781 North Milwaukee Avenue, OK Dispensary, West Town Bakery, docket 2022-36A, 13G, ordinance granting a variation to permit an increase in the maximum wall sign area from 252 square feet to 360 square feet at 781 North Milwaukee Avenue, OK Dispensary and West Town Bakery, docket 2022-36B, and 13H, ordinance granting a variation to permit the installation of a sign above the roof line of the building at 781 North Milwaukee Avenue, OK Dispensary, West Town Bakery, docket number 2022-36C. Thank you. Mr. Clicker. Yes, all three of these were read together because this is all pertaining to one sign. It is the, uh, the location of the sign since it is not immediately adjacent to a road right away. Uh, as you'll see on the, if you look on the location map, there is a sliver of land that is the diversionary channel. So technically it is not adjacent to a right away. So that is the, the means for one of the signs. The other variation is for size standard. It is a larger sign, uh, than, than allowed. Uh, but in the scale of the building, uh, seems to fit. And the third sign, a variation for the same sign, is that this was, sign would be on the roof of the building. So as such, there were conditions placed on uh, item G, which would state that the uh, all healthy vegetation on the north side of the building shall be preserved. And on item G, uh, H, which is the roof sign aspect of it, that all healthy vegetation on the north side of the building shall be preserved and that two, the sign supports shall not be visible from the public. Uh, so as you'll see in that diagram there, they, there are the support signs uh, post below the, uh, the sign. Um, the term that was used at the plan commission was this made it look a little bit like a billboard. The petitioner did agree to make that a solid surface all across the bottom so that it will look like an extension of the roof parapet. That's it. So the, I'm going to jump in first and ask just a quick maybe dumb question, um, but if I won't, I will. Um, Healthy vegetation on the north side of the building will remain. Won't that continue to obscure most of the building? And I mean, with with this picture and with going by, you, it's it, got to get thinned out. It will, uh, but uh, unfortunately, most of the vegetation uh, is actually in the diversionary channel. Uh, so that is a Illinois Department of Transportation issue. Uh, they will, if that is to be cleared, the picture that you see on the screen would be more accurate. I'm sure they'll get right off. <laughs> Are there, sorry, are there any other questions? I, and, and that was kind of my question. Who has to maintain this vegetation? It's not. There, there's a strip of approximately 30 feet that is the property uh, that is OK Dispensary and, and West Town Bakery. That is their responsibility for maintaining. There are a number of trees in there that we're working with the petitioner on right now and finalizing the landscaping plan to make sure that the healthy trees do remain and that they are uh, properly maintained. Uh, but. The diversionary channel is the diversionary channel. <laughs> right. And we don't have any say on it. No. 
I, I read the um, findings of fact and the, the from the PC meeting, and to tell you the truth, I was kind of confused as to what was going to happen with the roof. I guess to the petitioner, do you understand what's going on as far as the supports and whether or not this looks the way they you don't need place, to swear. you can <laughs> no they're not going to swear you in. yeah i do we, you uh, need to speak into the mic though otherwise <laughs> it doesn't get recorded yes i i do understand we've uh we, we've right now everything's open from demo so yeah there's going to be uh you know some structural supports on the roof um especially factoring in the wind and this is a horrible rendering of what this sign is actually going to look like um but yeah it's going to be a very nice and Beautiful sign with depth and LED. It's you know no resemblance to a billboard. Or, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm very I'm very aware. <laughs> right, and, and and this is your business, and obviously you want to attract people. And I can certainly understand why you have the sign there because Buffalo Lake Cook. That's the only way you're going to see it. It's it's a big deal, and I appreciate everyone who's worked with me on this. Um, I wish there was something we can do about the uh, with IDOT and. Uh, We'll try. We'll try. You never know. Miracles do happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sampling the product, I guess. <laughs> Believe that. That's uh, it. Mr. Svandilis, you had some questions about uh, H. Thank, just one thing that I, I wanted to point out. Uh, the third item, item H, uh, Trustee Rafato had reached out to me asking for a specific condition to be added. Uh, although I think that the concern is covered already by our code language, just to be expressly clear, uh, he wanted to make sure that the approval is for this business at this building and should this business, although we do not ever expect them to leave, uh, should they vacate the property, they are the owners, but that the approval for this roof sign is for this business in this location. Uh, so Attorney Maluzzi uh, drafted this simple condition of this variation is limited only to the petitioner at 781 North Milwaukee, uh, 50 LLC, and shall not be transferred to any subsequent owner or operator. So I would ask that in approval of item H, um, we, we add that condition as part of your approval. That would be condition number three. Yes. Yes. Any other questions or comments? I have one. Sorry, Trustee Kruger. Hi. Um, I, I did not see the plan commission meeting, and you said that this sign is going to, this is not a good rendering of the sign. Is the logo and the word okay? And it's just West Town Bakery is kind of small. I know um, you want to probably promote the dispensary, but. Sure. It, we see it promote both. We, we actually increased through original feedback, increased the, the size of the West Town. It's just the way it lays out. I see. It's, it's a tough one, especially at the square footage. Um, and we start getting much larger than that, and then we were going to have some structural. Right. Um, but in terms of the sign itself, you know, it's, there's no, like, spotlights coming up on it. There's, there's depth on the signs. It's not like a flat sign like you know it's it's going to have character and okay a very and high how quality. will it be lighted it's led so LED. It's, it's, okay yeah. great thank you that's all i have you're welcome if there are no other questions or comments on uh f g or h i would like to take them one at a time so i would need a, a motion to approve uh 13f so moved Second. Trustee, Trustee Papantos, second. Trustee Kruger, roll call, please. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. President Horker? Yes. I now need an ordinance for the approval of uh, item G. So moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call, please. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. We now have uh, item H with the addition of uh, the third uh, condition, uh, basically tying the sign to the bills, businesses that will be in the building at the time. Yes. Uh, motion? So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vito? Roll call. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? 
Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you again. Nice to see everyone. How's the uh, how's the schedule going? How's the late late January? Uh, demolition took an extra two weeks, and we found a couple things that you know just were going to take some longer. Uh, so it looks like January twenty third is when we're really narrowing into to open for Excellent. both the bakery and the dispensary. Uh, yes. Wow. Yeah. So it's we're, fast. We're we're excited. I have a. Uh, on the bakery side, I have a bunch of tastings uh, this week with sandwiches and cool stuff. If you need a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was only I, uh, I'll jump on that, too. <laughs> has anyone been to West Town Bakery in the city? No. I'm there every morning if you ever want to <laughs> see, see what it is. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Chief Dunn, when was the uh, the cancer fundraiser at the Bear McDonald's? Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't know I was you didn't know I was going to ask. <laughs> October 25th. October 25th, 5:30 to 7:30, okay. and it's at the 188 Dundee Road uh, location. And all the pies are going to. All the pie, 100% of the sale of the pies. If you buy them from a uniformed police officer, there'll be a lot of us over there. Okay. 100% uh, of those sales, someone will be in the big pie costume. <laughs> and, and wasn't that cash only for the pies? Yes, yes. And no pre-order? You can't use your app? No, you have to walk in and Reddit. meet the officer and <laughs> hand them over, hand over the cash. Like the marijuana business. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the pie. <laughs> okay. Uh, just uh, Commissioner some Brady, you had something? <laughs> Clerk Brady. Clerk Brady, whatever. Yes, I have three little things. Applications to vote by mail for November 8th election are now available. Visit the Cook County Clerk's website to complete an online application or call 847-499-9082 and one will be mailed to you. The last day to request a mail ballot is November 3rd. Uh, if you have not yet registered to vote, it's not too late. You can register online until October 23rd. Visit www.cookcountyclerkillinoisil.gov for more information. And this year, trick-or-treat hours on October 31st are 3 to 7. That's thank, it. Thank you, Clerk Brady. I have one other very important uh, a bit of information for the evening. Tonight is Mike Crotty's birthday. <laughs> I hear he's uh, 27 years old. I, that's what he would like you to, yes. Evening. He would like that to be the case. Um, he's actually very accomplished. He's like nationally, he's, he was the president of the National HR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he he was. We're very we're very proud of him. That's very cool. He was. He was Happy president of the IPAL organization. Ah. Uh, Happy birthday, Mike. Sorry, you, we didn't have cake for you, but you're not here. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything? <laughs> if there is no other meeting, uh, no other. Uh... Oh, I got one. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope to see everybody at the foodie event of the year on Wednesday at uh, Taste of the Town at uh, Chevy Chase Country Club, 5 to 8 p.m., I believe. Um, I think there will be 25 or 26 um, displays and food. They are and sold out on vendors. They are sold out on vendors. So, uh, yeah, so um, come and support uh, your local businesses, and uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. You can get tickets at the door? You can get tickets at the door. Uh, I believe they're forty dollars. Correct. Forty-five at the door. Forty-five at the door. Forty if you want to do it online. Don't ask me for the link. I okay. have no idea. And those are all. Those are representatives. So for the forty-five bucks, you get snacks from a lot of the restaurants right here in town. Yep. Yep. That's and, cheaper than a dinner out with too, the loved one. So, yes, very, very, very fun event. Have uh, gone many, many years. And um, best of luck to Kane and um, and Officer uh, uh, his. Chopek, his, his handler. Yeah, I only remember the dog. <laughs> and the guy, too. Uh, we'll get to know Officer Chopek, too. But, uh, yeah, he's a beautiful animal and uh, glad to have him. That's all I have. Thank you, Trustee Kruger. Okay. Uh, 
The final piece of business for the evening is the approval of the bills for September 29th through October 12th, 2022. Do I have a motion for their approval? So moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call, please. Uh, Trustee Vito? Uh, yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes, we have no executive session and we have no executive session items, so I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Oh, Trustee Papantos, second. Trustee Kruger, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Did you get your